So this is question three. Um, how did we um, learn from our audience feedback? Um, so firstly, before filming, we decided to do an audience um, questionnaire, which uh, saw what our target audience um, would go see in the cinema. So um, our target audience was predominantly female, um, 12 to 24, with a demographic of B to E. Um, and we asked them questions like, um, what would you go see? What would you expect in a romantic comedy? Um, is that the drama that you would go see in the cinema? Um, and also questions like, would you go see a film in the cinema or would you wait for DVD release or watch it on um, Netflix or the internet? Um, so yeah, we um, asked them and predominantly, most people said that they would um, like to see love in a romantic comedy, um, a happy ending and a twist in the middle. So we added these, so we added the twist um, as our protagonist um, was in a car crash and that left her um, with mental problems and she tried to escape and go find herself. Um, and the happy ending was that they um, fall in love again with their school crushes and the love is obviously the two protagonists but also their friends also fall in love which is another twist. Um, so we took on board what they said um, and also we took on board that they wanted an early DVD release because um, most of our target audience um, doesn't have a lot of disposable income, especially the 12 to 16 year olds who can't get a part time job. Um, so we decided to make it an early DVD release and also to release our film on Netflix. Um, so Netflix is a family's thing, so um, they are more able to watch it with their families and get a larger um, mass audience. Um, we also did a poster and we also did a poster analysis and um, they liked the colours and they could notice the two protagonists um, that are in love but they were a bit confused on the genre of it um, at first glance. Um, the mood and the uh, low sunlight setting could suggest that it was a drama or the dark forest in the background could suggest that um, there's more darkness to come so which would mean that it was a drama slash horror film. Um, but we tried to um, do this so we brought up the lighting a little bit and added some more romantic um, setting. Um, we also got feed that um, the name Footsteps and Tire Tracks was a bit confusing um, but when we explained it to our audience they were um, more understanding that it was about someone running away um, and they were on foot and uh, the other male protagonist was on um, or was in a car. Um, so then we also did, after filming, putting it all together in our first editing piece, we did another um, feedback form and they liked the opening um, but they feel like they need needed the twist to be more explained. Um, so we changed um, the, pro the female protagonist leaving the hospital um, and just saying sorry on a note to um, a close-up of her eyes and then a close-up of her mouth um, suggesting that she was in a panic and then we also got a shot of her going back in the car um, but a different car um, so she was leaving so the audience could tell more that um, she was leaving the hospital to go on a journey and then we also made it more clear through dialogue as well and we added a lot more dialogue instead of just the voiceover so that gave a more um, information to the audience about it. So that's what we learned from our um, audience feedback. So we edited it again and we added all of the bits that they said. Um, so yeah, our audience should understand it more and we've added more clear dialogue to it and also our poster is better so that we can collect a more of a mass audience.